Uh, children, in the previous lesson, you have learned about the present tense, and therein you had learned about the present uh, simple present tense, the present continuous tense, and the present perfect tense. Today, we are going to deal with the last of the present tenses, the present perfect continuous tense. When do we use the present perfect continuous tense? It is used when we have to describe an action which has started uh, earlier in the past and is still going on. It is written as has been or have been and to that we add the present participle. Right? Uh, that means to has been or have been we add the verb, the action word write, sing, eat, dance, and so on. And to that we add an ing. So it becomes writing, singing, eating, and so on. So, present perfect continuous tense can be used in order to make affirmative, negative, as well as interrogative sentences. When we have an affirmative sentence, then we, in the case of the first person, second person singular and plural as well as the third person plural we use have been plus the first form of verb plus ing in case there is a third person singular then we use has been plus the first form of verb plus ing is used when it is the negative sentence we have to use has or have plus not plus been plus the first form of verb ing okay and to express time, for and since are also used. Interrogative sentences use has or have before the subject. Then we add the first form of verb and then ing. Then we use a question mark which is the sign of interrogation. And we also use for and since to express the time. This makes it simpler. We use phrases like since, for, long, all day, all week and so on. To show the length of time. The baby has been smiling since her mother returned from office. Previously, maybe the baby was crying. But from the moment mother has returned up till now, maybe it's half an hour, maybe it's an hour, the baby has been smiling. The patient has been waiting for the doctor for three hours. So how long has the doctor uh, been uh, like waited for by the patient? Three hours. And the patient may have come and may have to wait for a longer time, but even now, at this moment, it is still going on. He is still waiting. The child has been showing symptoms of a viral infection all day. So the entire day, the child has been unwell. From morning till evening, the child has been showing symptoms. Okay? Alright. <clears throat> now, uh, the present continuous tense children, as you saw, in it, the action has been taking place for some time, it is still going on, and the duration for which the action has been going on is usually mentioned here. Okay? I have been waiting for an hour. He has been waiting for five days. She has been eating for two hours. The children have been waiting for their summer vacations. So, in each of this, the time period the duration for which the action is usually going to happen that is mentioned okay so when do we use have been and when do we use has been for i you they we we use have been right and for she he and it we use has been all right so here is a slight uh, like you know uh, your question may arise uh, Ma'am, what is the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous? Okay, so they are quite similar yet a little different. Okay, so in the present perfect, we use uh, the have or has. To that, we add the, add the verb in the third stage. Okay, um, and for present perfect, the action has already been completed. I have finished cooking. I have finished my homework. I have uh, eaten, I have slept, okay? But on the other hand, in present perfect continuous, we use have or has plus a been plus the verb with an ing. And this action has not been finished, okay? The action is still going on. The kids 
have been playing since morning. They are still playing and they have been playing from morning. But in present perfect, the kids have played for two hours. They have played for two hours. Now they are maybe studying, they are watching TV, they may be eating, they may be sleeping. They may be doing a lot of things, which is not playing. Okay, so that is the difference between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous tense. So what are the rules for making the present perfect continuous tense? As, a, as you know, we have the positive statements, the negative statements and the questions and the other interrogative. Okay, I explained this a little bit in the beginning and we're going to do this more in detail. So when we have a noun or a pronoun, to that we add a has or a have, then a been plus the verb and an ing. So, uh, we have the noun, like the name of a person, okay, or a pronoun, he, she, it, uh, they, we, okay, you, I. To that we add a has or a have, as the case may be. We add a been plus the verb plus an ing, like so. As she has been singing, he or she or it has been singing. But... I have been singing, you, we, they have been singing. In a negative sentence, we have the noun or the pronoun, the name of a person, or a he, she, it, I, you, we, they, or, uh, and so on. To that we add a have or a have. To that we add not, which is the negative word here. We can also use never, um, neither, nor, and so on. Then we add a been, then a verb, and an ing. A she has not been singing. He, she, or it has not been singing. I, you, we, they have not been singing. And in a question, we have has or have. To that we add the noun or the pronoun, the name of a person, or he, she, it, etc. To that we add been plus the verb plus ing. And at the end, we put a question mark. Has he, she, or it been singing? Question mark. Have I, you, we, or they been singing? Question mark. Has Tashi been singing? Question mark. All right. So here again, children, you can just go through this chart. Okay. So here it's given very, very simply. Uh, there is the positive form, the negative form, and the question form. You can copy it down also so that it is very very clear for you every time you have to write something all right all right so we have finished with the present tense the four forms of present tense okay and here alongside i have provided you with a chart for the present tense here we have tense simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous so in each one, in the first person, the second person, and the third person, how are we going to write or speak is clearly given, all right? Like I'll give an example each, okay? So in simple present, I write. In the second person becomes you write. And third person, he or she writes. They write becomes a we write. Second person also becomes you write, but in the third person, they write. Present continuous, I am writing, becomes you are writing, or he or she is writing. But in a, a plural, we are writing, will be, you are writing only, third person, they are writing. Present perfect, I have written, becomes you have written, he or she has written. Plural, we have written, becomes you have written, third person, they have written. Present perfect continuous, I have been writing for an hour. Second person, you have been writing for an hour. Third person, he or she has been writing for an hour. Again in the first person plural, we have been writing for an hour. Second person plural, you have been writing for an hour only. Third person plural, they have been writing for an hour. I would request you to note down this chart also in your copies for your ease of accessibility. Thank you children and have a good day.